Either way, shall we see what this is about? It's a 20 minute long video. Kick got exposed by Tom Dark. Kick is an extremely controversial site. It seems like every week oh, we're getting a new story music. from Kick, like this guy did this to a kid, or this yeah. guy acted insane on stream. It's basically endless. Yep. Yep. What the fuck? Bro, 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 humanity is cooked. Bro, I, I, bro, humanity's cooked. Nah, it's all, it's Jova. It's just Jova. Now, I actually like Kick because I like to see competition between streaming sites. Really, I just uh, hate Twitch with a passion. I like competition too, but fuck Kick. <laughs> I like competition for Twitch too because Twitch does need competition, but fuck Kick, man. The site blows. But now, a former employee from Kick and by it's proxy Melissa, State, dude. which is the oh, casino okay. that owns Kick, named Melissa, has come out with a video oh, detailing her experience there and explaining why the company sucks from her perspective. She opens okay. up by saying that while she left on her own, Kick went with the narrative that she was fired, saying it to multiple people behind yeah. the scenes. And she even provides some emails here showing that she did in fact resign and was not fired by the company. And wow. in one of these emails, it's clear that she expressed she had some major ethical concerns with how it was being run, but she claims Kick was affecting her potential to get other jobs by saying that she was fired which is why she felt the need to post these emails why why would they say that she was fired why would they do that especially when she has the receipts of just to prove them wrong what the how stupid are they, man? Video. It's important to note that the office environment for me was extremely hostile. Not only because I was being treated pretty poorly by a couple of individuals and the people that I went to for help were not helpful. Yo, that's the PewDiePie chairman. Yo! At all. But because there was just a consistent disrespect to other people's opinions and beliefs. Um, and this went as far as to just consistently hearing the F slur. And not even just a jest, like as a joke, it was specifically, you know, targeted towards people that it was supposed to discriminate against. Even so much as to walk past the socials room, the guys that run the, you know, kick streaming and kick community, and hear the N-word just dropped. Hard R. In a working environment? In a working environment? What? And I'm like, what is this office? How? And, and they, they had the executive, like the, the upper management was in the room. And I just sort of was like, what did I just hear? I couldn't believe it. And it's like, I came from companies that if you said anything slightly offensive, you were in trouble, if not fired. Wow. Yeah. So kick is what based. And here the N word just dropped. Hard R. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> pop the champagne bottles, quit your office job, quit your nine to five, quit your Amazon warehouse stocking job, okay? It's time to work for kick. They're gonna let us all in. Honestly, I mean this. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Sake. This is something she probably didn't expect because she comes from the corporate Silicon Valley type world. Whereas these guys are hired by a gambling company. They're just not on the same page at all, right? I mean, honestly, it is crazy to me, though, that they were just dropping that at the office. Uh, I thought that was just like a Turkey Tom office type thing. Hot R. Not, 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 a, not a typical office environment for tech companies in the 21st century at all. But it seems like the kick staff in this case is somewhat reflective of the kick talent. I think they would get along just fine. But by that same token, it's strange to me that if what she's saying is true that is happening they also go out of their way to like ban certain people for saying slurs like boss man jack oh my god dude i literally just hate my f so if it is true what she's saying they're just hypocritical is, is that how you say it how you pronounce it hypocritical 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 i i i, I don't i don't know man like holy shit Tom is notorious for dropping the hard R a couple of times in the past, for fuck's sake, man. The, the wall, what the fuck? What's with the wall? My oh, wait, God. it's broken as fuck! Oh my f***ing God! Seems like kind of a big double standard to me. Free Bossman Jack, by the way. Austin, he is the GOAT.
I was consistently working with businesses overseas. So there were times where I would be working from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. outside of work hours after doing a day's work. So it was very normal to work from home anyway. And all Mm -hmm. I needed to do was work from home for a couple of hours at the end of the day to pick up my daughter every second week. You can imagine it was a surprise to me when the uh, manager of the partners team, yes, the same guy that has been going around spreading lies about me, sat me down and just flat out said that my flexible working arrangements would be revoked effective immediately okay. and I need to find alternatives. I found it absolutely... That... That is no way to communicate with your employees, man. That is absolutely no way. What the fuck? They... Like, just off of that, I understand why she left. Like, like, only looking away from the fucking work environment and people dropping slurs in a work environment. <laughs> like, just for the way they just handled an, empl- an employee, like, nah, that ain't it. Absolutely disgusting that that was effective immediately when basically giving me no time to come up with an alternative. Yeah. Um, and not to get too personal, no, but I don't no. have anybody to lean on. I don't have friends or family that can help me out here. And they were very aware of that. So for me... There was no other options. They were basically telling me to choose between my child and my work. This is a very, very valid complaint in my mind if everything she's saying is true. I mean, I think, you know, I'm going to have a bit of a feminist take here, okay? I think women entering the workforce and being encouraged to pursue careers is good. But one thing that can be left behind is that a big part of being a woman for a lot of women is being a mother. And I think they should be allowed to adjust their work schedule to keep their job if they're also intent on raising their child. I mean, I know this exists on a case by case basis that obviously true, if there's though. like a small business and it can't afford to have someone on payroll when they can't fully dedicate their time to that business because they're taking care of a kid maybe they would have to let someone go and i wouldn't i wouldn't be like pissed about that right doesn't really matter that makes a lot of sense but to my knowledge kick has a lot of money i mean they have the back of state, <laughs> yeah. which makes a ton of money they've given streamers massive contracts in the past so surely they'd be able to accommodate this woman while she's raising her child right of course i are any company pulls that kind of shit in most places in europe is getting super fined by the state yeah legit like holy shit like i'm so flabbergasted honestly yo nitro what's up welcome in we're just watching a video on kick getting exposed right now by a former work employee um it is it's just flabbergasting to me like i have never heard of anyone being treated like that in a work environment here in europe I'm just not aware of any. Like, I'm sure there are some, but like in the bigger first world countries in Europe, there's definitely <laughs> going to be a fine and going to be complaints. Like, how the hell, how the hell would this go? Especially if it's a mother, yeah, especially. Like, nah. Ain't no way. If this had anything to do with my performance, because to me that was the only excusable reason that they could have to to do, to even revoke the rights, but to do it so suddenly. I was told in that meeting that it had absolutely nothing to do with my performance, which I made sure to record this meeting as they had already done some very dodgy things. Oh boy. Yeah, good on her for recording it. It made sense to me because I wasn't underperforming at all and I hadn't been told ever that I was underperforming. So it would have been very out of the blue to just say it in that meeting and not tell me anything prior or give me any kind of notes prior to that, like, oh, please work on this or you need to do better here. And even this, if this is true, that is extremely unprofessional. I mean, if she was just like a contractor, then that would be different if she worked with Kick now and then, on and off. It was more of a freelance person fair enough uh but this entire thing hinges on her being an employee at kick and being employed by kick so for them to drop this on her so short notice is extremely unfair and it's something absolutely worth criticizing the company for if it's true there are not a lot of receipts here so it's hard for me to know what's happening like am i saying she's lying no i'm 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 really not i'm just being skeptical because at the end of the day the proof she would need to have is like secret audio recordings from these meetings and i'm not really expecting her to have that but she did show this one crop screenshot but it was literally written on the thing that she did as for uh, streamers on kick you'd have to uh for some reason i can't read right now as for the streamers on kick you'd have to be real bad to get kick off there that's yeah yeah with some shit going down on kick that's insane man questioning questioning what wait isn't kick maintained by a gambling website yeah they are uh that it's called stake um, Stake owns Kick, 
stake literally f um, found it. Uh, kick. But it doesn't go into much detail from what I can tell, so I'm not totally sure what to make of these allegations. But if they're true, that's f***ed up. Kick, respect mm -hmm. women more, bro. <laughs> women don't owe you sh Kick. Okay. I also reference in this resignation letter that I was being mistreated by a couple of co-workers. Second. I'm not going to get into this right now because, honestly, it's just a lot. There's a lot to say. I actually made a video that was an hour and a half long about Kick, um, but I decided that I kind of came off a little bit like this guy. <laughs> so I am not going to release that right now. I feel like if that happened, you should just drop it. I mean, this is your your one shot to get the information out there. There's no reason to hold back like the first time really, is there? If the video was an hour and a half long, I mean, that is very long for most people to watch. But I think that, you know, she should have condensed it maybe and put it into this video, honestly, because I can hate when people breadcrumb in information they they cuck me out of the content okay they edge me a little bit they're like oh i'm gonna touch yeah, this path a little bit and then i can never come like just bust let me bust just let me bust please hey, yo. please let me bust now past this point she decides to get into what it was like working there for the last month she was employed oh. at kick she basically sought out the higher-ups at kick to figure out what to do about her flexible working arrangements being taken away and she wanted to talk to ed from steak the co-founder of the casino and the top dog at kick now i was curious about this guy because i've never really looked into him i've heard a lot about him i wanted to figure out who he is and it turns out mm -hmm. apart from having a super villain last Co name founder. ed is actually a billionaire he's from australia Australia. Cringe right off the bat. Let it go, dogs. Let's go. And he is the son of Australian businessman James Ashley Craven. Now, Jamie Craven what? was involved in a big scandal back in the 90s involving Spedley Securities. And as a result of his cooperation with the Australian government, he was only jailed for six months and banned from working in financial services for five years. Now, he's okay. listed as the director of EasyGo, which is a company that helps develop games for online casinos. So Ed Craven has a very interesting lineage behind him, to say the least. And the Cravens are doing very, very well, as just two years ago, Ed purchased an 88 million dollar home in melbourne pretty whack uh -huh. boys pretty whack he's like the f***ing wolf of online gambling at the end of the day oh, if you sake. can't get into parties if you can't get to the cool kids table no you can sit with me you can come to my party yes thank you you can come to my house thank i will you. be your friend thank you I will be your boyfriend! I will be your girlfriend! Have you ever done a sober stream, brother? <laughs> so Melissa really wanted an explanation from Ed in regards to these flexible working arrangements. <laughs> take a shit out this house. Bro's most of the time, he really is! He'll be your boyfriend and your girlfriend! <laughs> <laughs> so melissa really wanted an explanation from ed in regards to these flexible working arrangements it's hard to blame her it seems like this company is somewhat disorganized if they're really not prioritizing giving her some kind of explanation for this and what was going on in that email she showed from the company they say they wish she had brought up the concerns to their hr department the human resources department where every company throws the fetuses from plant parenthood in a blender and puts their mouth over it like uh and just turns it on and goes ah but if she told the cmo and he said that He just said that so casually, as if, like, I, what, huh, what, what, what? what? In that email she showed from the company, they say they wish she had brought up the concerns to their HR department, the human resources department, where every company throws the fetuses from Planned Parenthood in a blender and puts their mouth over it like, ah, and just turns it on and goes, ah. But if she told the CMO, is he saying that so casually? This if nothing happened. What the? HR is mostly there to protect companies as not the employees. That's true. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Oh, and he said that Ed. I, 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 I know that he said it because the HR is bad overall, but like that, like, comparison is like, what?
Raven would have some kind of explanation soon. And that explanation never really came. Well, it just seems like this wasn't a very big priority for them in the first place. Of and they're probably not. planning to paper her out anyway. Now she goes on to make her biggest claims about the company, at okay. least as far as what's being talked about online, specifically one of them relating to Jake Future, who was a young fan of Aiden Ross who met him on Discord and later okay. became a streamer himself because of Aiden's help. Already rapping, bro. Already rapping. Come on now. <laughs> Merch coming soon, Jake. Merch coming soon. I know it costs a lot of money when you're starting up a business and stuff, Jake. So my last gift to you is, you know, I got another ten thousand dollars for you. Oh. No. I want to see you guys build this merch business up, take it to the next level. I'm a phone call away, bro, and I got you if you need any advice on me. But see now, see now, you know, you know what that means. Now we're we're literally, you know, we're we're working together, bro. You work for Kick, I work for Kick, so. Now we gotta, we gotta stick together, bro. She is the future. I've been telling you that. And Melissa claims that Jake's contract That's was destroyed nice. by Kick, basically. When Wait, I what? asked about this streamer's contract, Wait, you know, he um, had a smirk on his face and goes, I decimated his rate. And this was apparently fucking hilarious because everybody else in the room laughed. I what? 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 No, no, I'm. That, that is so fucking evil. Like, bro, why? I said, well, what did you put it down to? And he proceeded to then brag about the fact that he got him on a uh, below market cent rate uh, for an English streamer. Everybody thought this was funny, and I was shocked and even yeah. if I think about th and if I think about this too much it actually makes me cry because they're just like ha ha we just uh, fired the uh, the disabled kid ha ha look at us ha ha like fuck off what the thought of how bad this streamer must have felt it's just not right and the level of just cruelty there as well and just absolute like no compassion towards the fact that this person there are no words i have no words about this it made me i don't use the word hate very often but it made me hate this person if that's true that is incredibly that they did that to him even worse that they were bragging about it like if you're gonna drop him just drop him i mean it's it's not surprising to me that jake future probably wasn't really making them any money so it's fair for them to have like a business perspective on it but to be like we're gonna lower this like <laughs> this autist rate destroy him wait is that based no it's not pretty crazy sh bros now jake himself claims the deal was never lowered a lot of people seem to think that melissa's video made kick change their mind about it and decide to keep the contract going when they were for having you involved in this, I did have a relay a conversation that was definitely had. I'm unsure if my video changed my mind or not, but I'm just glad you've gotten to keep your contract. <gasps> a good ending, kind of. Still assholes, still assholes, and he should probably, I don't know, get to another film, get away from fucking kick, but still a good ending. To him, at least, man. At least he could keep the contract, man. Man, that... Shit sucks, man. That, that, that's so unnecessary, man. What's a high call? Kul Hovi? Is that how you say it? Hi, what's up? Sorry. Nero chan That was cute, but I prefer uh, if you called me Kitsu over Nero. Thank you definitely planning to drop him. Hard to say without inside details, really. Uh, Kick as a, as a company has yet to respond to this video at all. Now, for the next story, apparently there is a streamer Kick wanted to move over to their site from Twitch. And their strategy, okay. in their words, was that it would be easy to get them over there because they were probably going to die soon because they oh, have cancer. The, the quote that I remember hearing yeah. was, yeah, we can get her on Kick streaming steak for a relatively low price because she probably thinks she's gonna die soon and she'll wanna leave more money for her family. 
bro. I mean, that, that is, is like, that is funny in like a psychotically yeah, evil businessman type of way. Like, uh, you would so think it's really funny if it's like in a fucking cartoon. Bro. But in real life, it's like, what, it's so what bad. is wrong with you? What is the strategy here? Yeah, it's How? so if what bad. What is saying is true about Jake Future and about this streamer who a lot of people are saying is Kai Day. That Kai is Day. nuts. Uh, Preying on someone's Kai terminal Day, illness for problem, financial so. gain, like intentionally. It doesn't really get much scummier than that, does it? I decimated his okay. rate. And this was apparently hilarious because everybody else in the room laughed. I said, well, what did you put? Yo. Huh? There's someone in the top corner. Yo. What? She Wait. also criticizes Wait, the what have I just missed? Like intentionally. It doesn't what? really get much scummier than that, does it? I decimated his rate. And this was apparently hilarious because everybody else in the room laughed. Oh, said, well, his reaction to it. Yo. Oh. Yo. Aww. She also criticizes their moderation for allowing sexual degenerates on the platform. They don't care about pedophiles on the platform. Like this guy right here, I had to fight tooth and nail to get this guy off. Um, this is something I went into detail in the other video, but yeah, fought so hard to get this guy off. And he told two 14 year old girls oh. that he wanted to do something sexual to them. And he even included their age it's in the um proposition. Oh I mean, my! If you haven't seen the video. It's oh my god! It's she, it's so. She fought for him to get banned. Get this guy off. Um, this is something I went into detail in the other video. But she had yeah, to fight so for him to, to get, get this banned? guy off. And he told two fourteen-year-old girls that he wanted to do something sexual to them, and he even included their age in the proposition. I mean, if you haven't seen the video, it's it's. It's so hein it's so wrong. And the fact that everyone there could watch it almost with a grin on their face. There were there were staff members who were defending it, saying that it was a joke. And at the end of the day, I think making jokes about stuff can be funny. The This guy does belong there. Yeah. Uh, this guy definitely doesn't just be a long band, but like <laughs> jailed up. I know Twitch and YouTube need competition, but Kick is not it. Yeah, Kick just ain't it, man. Kick just really ain't it. Like, I'm all for dark humor and shit, right? I'm all for it, but there's a time and place. There's a time and place for dark humor. The problem comes when the person making Someone those jokes is doing here, yeah. it in front of or to a child. Then it's not really a joke. It can it can f the kid up. It can be really yep. bad. You can't do that. You cannot yep. allow people to even jokingly make these kinds of comments to kids, and you can't allow them to get away with it. This has been a consistent problem for Kick from someone like Riot Lowell, and what he did is way beyond jokes. Or like Derek Graz, once again, like yes. that guy <laughs> is weird. And then you got what? this guy Stop that she's citing when just snags. He was on Kick for a while. He even got into some major beef with Lil Tay. I'm down to rizz it up. I don't care. You not bad enough. Your nose, you got the. Can beak on you. You look. You look like you stink. Your hair look like your hair look mad rough. Like comb your hair a little bit. Mm. Yeah, she has wavy hair. What the fuck? Your lips, her hair's fine. You dumb. Look, look. Your lips look mad dry. Your hands is mad fat. You look. Huh? What is he talking about? You look crazy. Do this. Show me your teeth. Your teeth is you know? pussy. Your teeth is pussy yellow. What the? Fuck? Stop speaking sign oh, language. Hi. Oh, that's really solid. You deaf? I am actually deaf. No, you're I'm not. Cause you're like, no, you do not, bro. Don't be with old. Oh, my fault. I'm going to have. I'm going to have. I mean, this dude. Yeah, of course you are. What low the fuck? IQ moron. So Lil Tay called him what a the fuck, because man? of another clip of him being weird on stream regarding a child, which was removed from Twitter, and he then threw a tantrum. Little Tay owns you. That little white. I see that little. I'm going to break her fucking neck. I'm going to step on her fucking skull. I'm gonna break her school and a half. She suck. She wanna get some album promos, all that. What happened to you, Pack or something, Little Tay? I don't even know you. All I heard was Little Tay. Uh, bro, what the? How do you? <laughs> bro, how do you become a person like this, man? How do you generally think, like? People that speak that way, they generally think they're like the alpha. How do you become like that? In all honesty, I've bro, I've seen so many people speak that way. 
and they generally think they're the best and everyone else is just stupid and moronic. Like, like of a father? I have a lack of a father and I didn't turn out like that. Maybe he has a lack of a mother. They got dropped on the head while they were children. I got dropped on my head as well! <laughs> Maybe he got dropped a couple more times! I, okay, to be fair, I didn't get dropped. I rolled off. Off, like, a uh, shelf kind of thing. I rolled myself off. <laughs> and at the time, I couldn't roll. At the time, I couldn't roll. I was still too young to be able to roll, so my mom thought she was fine to, like, leave for, like, 30 seconds or what? And then I rolled off into the trash bin. I put myself into the trash! <laughs> Swear belong. <laughs> so uh, that's some random trivia. <laughs> Die! I got so happy. I rolled up. I'm saying, smoking Tay, smoking little Tay. Oh my God, Tay, I'm out hot. I was gonna go to your f tombstone. I was gonna go to your f graveyard. I was gonna pee, pee all over that. I was gonna hey. walk all over your grave. I swear, you little white. I hate you. Stop saying my name. I don't care. She started with me first. It's not slavery with white, 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 white people could treat us like. Y'all can say whatever you want. I can say something back. You white. Get off my. Fucking I don't know you. Stop saying my fucking name. Now he did eventually get banned, but. Okay, Sal so found it so ridiculous that people fucking is call other people white as if it's an insult as well. And so many- it's just like, oh my god, I hate this. I, I don't even want to get into this discussion, man. It's just so fucking stupid. This entire discussion is so fucking stupid. She started first, ain't never an excuse? Yeah, it just isn't. Like, everyone is responsible for their own fucking actions, man. He's a grown-ass fucking adult. What do you mean she started it? It's a, f a fucking same as lame excuse when a fucking abuser said, says, you make me do this. You make me do this. You make me hurt you. You make me destroy the money. You make me destroy those PlayStation games. You make me do this. It's your fault. Yeah, that was a little bit personal. According to Melissa, getting him banned was an absolute pain in the ass. I mean, it seems to me like she brought some very valid concerns to the table here. Not totally sure if everything she said is real. I, you know, I don't work at Kick, so I don't fucking know. But I think this is definitely stuff that should be dealt with and addressed if it hasn't been. Now, given a lot of these accusations, XQC, who has a pretty big contract XQC, and works with oh, Kick shit. a little bit, he's decided to respond to some of it to say that Kick is fixing a lot of these problems and a lot of them are in the past. And we have had like round of discussions with me and other big creators with the owners and be like, yo guys, this this can't this can't fly anymore. We cannot have this anymore. And a lot of things was done has and has been done. Maybe if you notice, I know you guys don't notice because you don't give a f about um because when you see this, you care or you pretend to care, right? But the actual things to care about, you don't actually care about them. But if you notice, maybe this month, maybe maybe six weeks total, right? Okay, get to the point. Things have been going very smoothly. A lot of the big dog, sh a lot of the big, big trash has been removed, banned. And it's, it's gone way up, way up, like legitimately. And that's been like through manual efforts and showing up and doing the right things. Oh, here's a mistake. Oh, how did you rectify it? Let's work on doing something good. Oh, this isn't good. Let's, let's find a solution. Instead of getting mad about old problems that were fixed. I mean, I definitely, I, I don't believe it. Like, I'm sorry, it's just XQC talking about it, and XQC isn't in the offices. Like, he's not in the offices. Like, of course, the work, of, uh, like, the workforces, like, the people that he's talking to are going to tell him, yeah, we, we fixed it, we fired those people, this isn't happening anymore. Like, of course they're gonna tell him that. But he's not actually in the fucking offices on the day-to-day -day basis. He's in his own home. He's streaming. He doesn't work inside the fucking offices, man. Like, it's just like, shut up.
honestly. I understand what he's saying and Kick is a new site. So there are gonna be a lot of issues to iron out. But what she's saying is that Kick didn't care about these issues in the first place and their process for dealing with them is basically unethical. I mean, you can yeah. say that things have been good for a few weeks or a month. Oh, it's, it's been good for a month, chat. It's been good for a month, like good. But those problems existed in the first place. So they should, I mean, it's okay to talk about it now. And what about for the past year that the site has been up and running and had a lot of these issues? I feel like some of these issues could have been addressed way earlier and mitigated if the Kick staff really cared. And I, you know, I like the, the idea of Kik. I think it's a cool concept. I don't really care if people want to gamble on live stream. I don't think that's an inherently wrong thing to do at all. I, I don't I don't give a shit. I, and think I it like is. once again that they're challenging Twitch, the big dog. Okay. I like that. Uh, I like that they exist outside of the content paradigm. I like that like more edgy creators like Ice Poseidon can go there or Aiden Ross can go there and have an audience and say whatever they want, do whatever they want. That's cool. But there has to be some basic rules and those rules need to be strictly enforced. Now Ice yep. Poseidon also responded to saying when I streamed at the kickoff office, I did a gay tent and they had inclusive posters on the wall, so there's no way what the ex-staff said could be true. I <laughs> there's no way what they said uh, could be true. Okay. I've been there once. So, they had this one thing there, so it's no way it could be true. No way. No way. I was there once, guys. Right. I also met her and she said she loved working there. Yeah, at the time being... Bro, at the time being, what are you talking about? Opinions can change. Shit can happen. Lol. But, like, obviously she could have just changed her mind. Also, just because there's, like, a gay poster on the wall yeah, doesn't mean that you're doesn't not mean, gonna, you know, <laughs> say doesn't mean sometimes, shit. Right? It's not really gonna stop you that much. Like, if you want to say it. Oh, the poster. But the poster. The poster made me stop. The poster. <laughs> but we changed our profile picture. Bro, we changed our profile picture to a rainbow, of course. Now we support it, and we totally don't say fucking homophobic slurs and racist slurs um, in the office. That will stop us, bro. For guys, didn't yep. you see? Didn't you see? We have those posters there. We love all every like we love everyone. Also, did make a decent point about the fact that oh Jake Future God. averages like 55 viewers live. So for him to even be paid is kind of ridiculous. Um, that is true, but I, I don't I don't know if it's the best to plot on his downfall behind the scenes if that was happening. Okay. Ultimately, I don't know yeah. how much of what Melissa said is true versus not. A lot of it is without evidence, but some of her complaints seem to line up with problems that Kick has had, even from a public facing perspective, that I think definitely need to be dealt with. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh. Damn, Jesus Christ, man. Kick is wild and Kick is fucking wild and man. I didn't like Kick from the beginning. It's just like not a fucking fan of it. And this made my opinion of them drop even harder. This made my opinion drop even harder.